such a major, major tour de force. I asked, the production was amazing and the clothes were incredible. It was just, you know, such a wonderful way to end the New York Fashion Week. I love the staging. I thought it was incredible. When the curtain opened up and you saw those girls, I thought that was really spectacular. The opening image reminded me of Sweet Charity, that movie with uh, Shirley MacLaine. I would assume it could be a little bit of uh, Sweet Charity, I'm not sure. But I thought it was fantastic. I love the gold curtain, and I love the sensibility of the, the show, the pacing of the show. I thought the clothes were all very clever, very sophisticated. 30s kind of reference, flapper kind of reference. Lots of cloche hats, big trend. I love the way the girls looked in the thing. I thought it was fantastic. A little bit of Bob Fosse, a little bit of a flapper moment. And clearly the models loved wearing the clothes, it was always a test. You could see they were totally up to it. Great fashion moment, really the freshest collection I saw in Manhattan this week. I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was absolutely superb. It's Mark Jacobs at his best, creating innovative sensibilities about fabric for spring. of French. French, pale French. We saw those great white jackets and leather that had fringe trim. Even on the girls' feet, the idea of a cowboy boot. Interesting, this sort of country western thing that's beginning to emerge in a very subtle, conscious, subconscious sort of a way. But a cowboy boot in Mark's hands, chrome silver leather with a plastic upper. And even though they can be very extreme, again, you're always aware of the designer's thumbprint. It's kind of an incredible art. I also love the way he used cellophane and techno fabrics to shine and to create a dress that almost looks like it's plastic or paper bag. He's making a statement about, I think, the world or global warming. I love the whole thing. I thought it was fabulous. This interesting mix is happening throughout New York where we're seeing a lot of techno fabrics, plastic fabrics, things that almost have a real modern essence, if you will, Pierre Cardin, Courage, but then played back to something that has much more of a naturalist spirit. And also playing with gingham chuck. Here we see a great gingham chuck organza blouse, or even a mixed print organza blouse underneath a yellow and black suit that has a very ladylike polish to it.
work. He has to twist it and make it his own, but that's what makes fashion interesting because here we have a gentleman who's known not only for classic elegance, but just giving it that tension and giving it that tug of war that truly makes it fashion. really a unique talent for capturing the zeitgeist and really kind of giving you a collection you didn't know you wanted until you saw it. It's the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? I mean, it's um, so often the defining show of the New York season. a genius when it comes to working with his stylist and pre presenting really a collection that's always thought-provoking, always keeps us guessing, and always influences everyone around him. I always say, even if you don't like what you see on Mark's runway, which I always do because I think he's an enormous talent, it inspires everything we see from this day forward in the world of fashion.